Okay guys, here's just a quick video on how to do trade discounts. So trade discounts are um, a situation when, so we're not talking about trades like construction trades, electricians or plumbers. We're talking about trading dollars for products or dollars for services. Um, so we're, we're doing trade in business. And sometimes depending on who our customer is, we may have several different discounts that that customer is entitled to. So maybe the customer gets a discount because they've purchased a certain quantity. Maybe they also get a discount because they're a member. Maybe they also get a discount because the product is old or on sale. So there can often be many different discounts that here there's two, but there could be a lot more. And so, okay, so first of all, like how do we do those discounts and you know, how do they translate into like what, what equivalent rate would would be uh, you know present in, in situations like this so first of all I'll show you how to do these questions okay so this question says uh, an investment firm has received a discount series for the purchase of a major stake in a company each share of the company was purchased for hundred and ten dollars per share less 25 percent and 12 percent so less two discounts okay so um, I'll show you how to set these up First, we'll take um, the uh, uh, net price is going to equal. So the net price means the price after the discounts is going to equal the list price. Um, so list price means the price on the price tag here, $110. And then we're going to say one minus the first discount, so I'm just calling it D1. And we're gonna express that number as a decimal, so 25% is gonna be just 0.25. And then we'll multiply that by one minus the second discount. So let's put those things in. So our list price is $110. We're going to say 1 minus 25%, so 0.25, and 1 minus the second discount of 0.12. And I'm going to do just a little bit of cleaning up. So I'm just going to answer those things in the brackets there. I'm not going to do any multiplying. I'm just going to do some subtraction. 1 minus 0.25 gives us 0.75. 1 minus 0.12 gives us 0.1, or sorry, 0.88, what am I saying? Okay, so the 0.25 and the 0.12 was the discount. The 0.75 and the 0.88 is the, the price that we're actually paying. I'm going to take these two things only and multiply them together. Okay, so I'm gonna say, 0.75 times 0.88 equals 0.66. Okay, so this is 0 0.66. So when I go to multiply this by the price, right, 110, I'm going to get the net price or the, the price that we pay after the discounts. So 0 0.66 times 110 gives us 72.60. So our net price, 72.60. So the price after discounts. After, with an R, discounts. Price after, spelt all weird, discounts, 72.60. The first, so we kind of skipped all over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so the first part says, what is the net price factor? The net price factor is when we multiply these two numbers together to get this 0.66. This is the net price factor. And that's basically saying that of that original price, $110, we are paying 66% of it. Okay? So from the original price, we're paying 66% of the original price. 
Um, so that's the net price factor. The net price per share we figured out is 72.60. And what is the single rate of discount? Well, that's kind of easy-ish, I guess. If we know that we are paying, like if we start at, let's say we start, the regular price is 100% or full price, right? We know that we are only paying 66%. I'm going to subtract those two to find the discount or find the difference. All right, so I'm going to go on the calculator. 100% minus 66% gives us 34% difference, right? These are different from each other by 34%. That's the amount of the discount. Okay, so a 25% discount and then another 12% discount is the same as a 34% discount. So this would be the single equivalent rate. I can expand on that. Single equivalent rate of discount. And they're kind of like, this is kind of an opposite to this, right? I know this is a decimal and this is a percent and whatever um, but they're kind of opposites right together this and this will always add up to a hundred percent yeah um, and if you had more discounts like let's say you had three discounts here we would just make this a little bit longer and this one a little bit longer and add the third discount and we would multiply the three things together to get our single um, net price factor here and we would do some subtraction to figure out our single equivalent rate of discount there. Wow, what a day. Anyway, happy mathing, everybody.